안녕하세요 여러분 엠스입니다 Hi everyone, Margarita here and today I prepared a little K-beauty haul slash get ready with me slash I have a mystery box filled with Korean makeup and I'm gonna challenge myself to put it all on my face without looking like a clown type of video. Hope it's gonna be fun! But seriously, I've been graciously sent this little package from Stylevana, which is yet another provider and satisfier of the K-beauty craving that I get, I want to say sometimes, but it's really all the time. <laughs> Stylevana is an online store selling not only Korean, but I think all types of Asian beauty and fashion products. Those of you who have seen my other K-beauty hauls know that I get excited when I find out any new way I can get my hands onto K-beauty products without having to spend a bank on shipping, and you bet I will share all of them with you because not all of us are lucky enough to live in Korea or even in Asia, so yeah. And now, Without further ado, let's get into makeuping. Oh my god, it has been so hot here in the UK for the past couple of days. It's like 36 degrees outside and London is not meant for this heat. So I am dying and just melting, even with my new short hair that my fiance has graciously cut for me. You guys should check out that video, it's pretty funny. But yes, now to the actual Ta da! Unboxing of eee! exciting new K Beauty. Oh my god, I have not bought any makeup in such a long time. I've just been on this kind of makeup cleanse. I I'm known for not really wearing any makeup at all, ever, just for videos really. But nowadays, I've really gone onto like a proper makeup cleanse. I wear no foundation, no concealers, no BB creams or cushions or anything. All I do in the morning is apply this Etude House Wonder Pore Toner and put on a little bit of Glow Recipes Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Gosh, these names could not be any longer. But yeah, I just do my little morning skincare and of course, I apply sunscreen because sun damage, duh. Nobody wants those wrinkles at 20, oh my God, I'm gonna be 25 soon. Ah! But yes, and the one I'm currently using is from Misha. It is called the Safe Block Essence Sun EX with SPF 45 and triple PA. But actually, now that I have luckily stop myself. I am not going to do my usual sunscreen application yet because I have this interesting product that was sent to me from Korinko. Korinko in Korean. And it's PT Whipping Tonic. Tonup? Tonup? Kurim. Sometimes it's so hard to read Konglish, where English words are essentially written in Korean letters because you're just like, what are you trying to tell me? What is a tone-up cream, guys? It looks very cute. It's got a little peach on it, and I have no idea what it's meant to be used for. So let's just try it on. Okay. It looks very, very white, almost like a moisturizer slash sunscreen, actually. Mm, it smells very, very mildly and pleasantly peachy. All right, let's see what it's going to... Do to my face. Ah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. It feels like sunscreen. Yep. Consistency of ice ice cream. <laughs> Actually, I would say consistency of ice cream and sunscreen is pretty similar, isn't it, guys? <laughs> okay. What did this do? Let's bring in the big mirror guns. I feel like this just lightened up my skin. Don't you think, guys? I feel like my face was a slightly different shade than my neck because I recently went and just climbed a mountain in Wales the other weekend with my friends and I got burnt on my face because the forecast was showing it was going to be 16 degrees and cloudy and we're going to Wales and Wales is known to be just not a sunny place on earth, you know? And I get burnt. Who gets sunburned in Wales? Apparently I do. But yeah, I felt like my skin was a slightly different shade on my face than on my neck because of that particular trip. But now I feel like they're exactly the same. Is that what tone up mean? Do you just like lighten my skin 
to a different tone. Oh my god. I wonder if it has any other properties, like smoothing out your wrinkles or maybe filling in your pores. It kind of also feels like, um, what is it called? Primer. There you go. A primer. Is this a primer? Is that what it is? Anyways, guys, all of you actual beauty users. <laughs> in the comments. Let me know what a tone-up cream is. All right, but now that I've got the tone-up cream on my face, I feel like I don't really need to put anything else. Plus, I wasn't really sent any kind of skin-related products here. So let's move on straight to, ooh, brows. All right, that's another part of my face that I do absolutely nothing to. <laughs> Uh, I really should not be doing get ready's with me or any kind of makeup related videos because I just don't put enough makeup on my face. Mm. Okay, and that doesn't want to come out. There you go. Ooh, my golf tint brow. Wow, okay, they've literally, I feel like, spelled a Korean word in English. Wow, that's a first. So this is a three point brush from. McQueen, New York. Ooh. Is that the McQueen I'm thinking about? What McQueen am I thinking about? Yeah. All right. This three-point brush, I'm assuming, just leaves little strokey strokes on your face, and that's supposed to fill out your brows in a natural way? Yeah? Let's bring you guys in closer. Can I? Whoop. Hello. <laughs> All right. Yep. Oh my god! That's kinda cool. Oh my god. I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing, but it's kinda fun. Can I like... Yeah, what should I use? Ooh, a little spoofity brush thing. I have one of those, one second. Alright, I was gifted this lovely set of brushes by my dear friend Jeannie, who did my lashes, actually. You guys should watch that video when I went to New Malden and got my lashes all curled up and fixed and beautified. But yeah, I'm gonna use a little eyebrow brushity thing to make this look a little bit more natural and not like I've used a permanent marker on my eyebrows. The application is probably very sucky, so I apologize for that, but that is my fault, and that's not the fault of this brushy brush. But what do you think about this eyebrow? Does it look better? Worse? I can't tell. All right, maybe if I do the other one, things will just magically look nice on my face. Guys, I don't know. I mean, this product seems cool, you know? I feel like somebody who actually does things to their eyebrows would genuinely benefit from it. It's super easy to use and so much product comes out with like the lightest of touches, so you don't need to do much, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about these eyebrows. They look so dark. No? Tell me in the comments. All right, next up, we've got a very, very exciting little product here that I just cannot wait to get my hands on. It's I'm Mimi's multi-cube little palette -y thing. Just look at how cute it is. And it's essentially a little quad of eyeshadows and a little blusher. How convenient. I know these have existed since the dawn of time and since I was probably a baby, but they still just boggle my mind every time I see them because this is such a cute design. It's so compact and travel friendly. But yes, I absolutely love these shades. They're so neutral, they're so down my alley. Let's see if I can actually do a makeup look for you guys. Dipping my finger into the shade number one. In my mind, the way you do makeup is you slather the lightest shade all over your lid and you create a base. How do all these beauty people on YouTube look so graceful and beautiful when they do their makeup? And then there's me who's just like, <sighs> I feel like my eyelids are very veiny. I'm not sure if you can see it, but like I got veins galore. So whenever I apply this base coat, oh my God, I can't believe I'm using nail polish <laughs> terms and makeup. I feel like it almost smoothens out and blends in these little veins. Cause they don't look too appealing, you know? All right, I'm gonna skip shape number two because it looks a bit too 
sparkly for the second step and I'm gonna jump straight into shade number three to add some dimension to my eyes and I do that with a super old grandma technique of apply it to the corner of your eye and blend the heck out of it jokes I don't think that's something my grandma taught me I don't think my grandma even wore makeup was there makeup in the Soviet Union okay I joke there was <laughs> okay I need to take a little nasty sweaty weather break and just oh my god it's so hot oh my god it is so hot ah! I literally have wa just waterfalls going down my back I'm in a weird mood today I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video but I don't know I've been recently thinking about my channel and what I used to do on it and what I do on it now and I feel like being a little bit more me with you guys, a bit more real and raw and not all perfect educationally hi I teach you Korean type of person, which it's still me, I, I still like to do that. Oh and by the way, as I say this, I'm gonna blush myself up a little bit. But yeah, I've just been thinking about my channel and how I appear on it and I don't know if you guys noticed that Sergey and I, my fiance and I, have been appearing together more on my channel and just doing random videos rather than kind of Korea related videos. We still try to make them related to Korea, but we mainly just kind of film videos and have fun together and yeah, I never thought that my channel was gonna be that type of channel and I don't know if I'll continue actually doing it, but for now I'm having lots of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoy this other side of Msen, of me. All right, I don't know if this blush is doing anything to me. Ugh. Do you guys see anything happening on my cheeks? The weird thing with blush is that you keep applying it and then you can't see it, can't see it, can't see it, and then at one point it's just like pfft, you have two red circles on your cheeks and you're like, well then. All right, so because there was no mascara in this box, I'm going to use my own personal Maybelline New York Colossal Volume Express mascara because I have not actually yet found a Korean branded mascara that works with my eyelashes. I don't know, I found this Maybelline mascara like 10 years ago and I've just been the biggest fan forever. I've tried some Korean mascaras that are brown because my eyelashes are not entirely like pitch black. They're actually pretty blonde. Um, especially the tips, so I thought maybe brown would work better and look more natural, but nah, it just didn't work. Or maybe I just wasn't used to that look, and it actually wasn't too bad. I don't know, I can't tell. I'm not an objective person. But yeah, I find it very difficult to talk as I'm doing my lower lashes, I don't know why. But yeah, do you see how all the eyeshadow makeup look just comes together as soon as you do your eyelashes? Isn't it crazy? Is that just me? Or is that everyone? Oh, God bless mascara. We're not done yet, because we have two more products in this box that were sent to me. One from the same brand as the Tone Up Cream, which is Karinko. And this is a Teddy Choo. Basically, it's a lipstick. Ooh, that's cute. Look at this packaging. Nice. Oh, wow, okay. I did not think that was going to be the color. I thought it was going to be a lot more... lighter and not so intense but before we apply this because I did tell you guys that I was gonna apply everything that was in this box we also have a little tint from Le Biot, Chateau Le Biot. I love their packaging I think it is the cutest out there okay let's swatch them first so I can see how best I can put them both on my lips without it looking crazy okay so wow all right so that's Chateau Le Biot. And then here's the Karinko lipstick. All right. Okay, mm, we can do a little gradation action. Gosh, do I remember how to do those? Uh, right, okay, so the lighter color should go on the outside and then the darker color should go in the middle. So, okay, gosh, this is gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna take the Chateau Le Biot and 
Oh my god, that is very, very bright. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and apply it and talk at the same time because... Ooh. That's cute. Oh my god, okay. Just this lipstick on its own I think is very, very cute. Okay, so this is the lighter shade out of the two we have in this box. And that is so pretty. Oh my god. And then now let's apply the Krinko shade on top. Do you guys see any kind of color? Oh yeah, I see. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my god. Guys, I think it worked. Do you see the gradation? Oh my god. Is it me or did it work? Oh my god. Guys, these two work so well together. Oh my god, in real life, this looks like a proper gradient lip look. Oh my god, I'm gonna take so many photos in this. <laughs> okay, let me zoom you guys out, cause we're pretty much done. Okay, I thought that was gonna look a lot nicer. <laughs> But yeah, what do you guys think of my little summary? I don't have anywhere to go apart from just chilling with my friends in a park type of look. <laughs> but yeah, this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little rants and chats and this kind of very casual type of video. If you want to purchase anything from Stylevania yourself, do use my discount code that you can find in the description here. On If you want to purchase anything from Stylevana, do use my discount code that you can find here on the screen and in the description box. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this look, my little chats and rants. Do leave me some comments in the comment section, just so I don't feel like I was talking to myself this entire time, even though I was. <laughs> and with that said, I hope you all have the most wonderful rest of the day, and you are looking forward to an amazing weekend, and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye! Annyeong! <laughs>